Hey there, Bruce, and welcome back to the Silver Case. We finished up the Lunatics. It's time for us to kick off into the next chapter. So let's let's get into it, shall we? I uh, was shocked by how much interactivity there was in the first chapter, so we need to be ready for more of that. Case one, decoy man. Let's do it. I'm ready. Because if I remember correctly, 25th Ward didn't have quite that much interactivity. I'm pretty sure it didn't anyway. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. It has been a while now. Come on, microphone arm. Don't be a jerk. Right. <laughs> Hopefully that, uh... The sound is coming through alright. Tetsu. Kamui's gonna make a move. Huh? What the hell do you mean? He's gonna wake up. Is this info from your place? No. I don't know that much. Then what? Pocket money. How greedy. Don't overestimate civil servants. Overtime for this quarter is getting cut. Fine, never mind then. You son of a bitch, I'll shoot your ass dead where you stand. Kidding, kidding. It's just a hunch, but I got my wisdom teeth pulled, right? At that time. What one time? Just before the silver thing. And? So what? You trying to tell me that your toothaches are supposed to be some sort of antenna for shit about to go down or something? Exactly. What kind of jerk off in this day and age believes that superstitious bullshit? No, really, I'm telling you. It's accurate. You really should believe it. Right about now, he's taking life slow in the clink. Probably even gone, gone and reformed himself by now. Don't underestimate what my teeth can do. I'm telling you. I got a knack for this kind of second sight. No kidding. I believe you. I don't get it, but I believe you. So what am I supposed to do now? Hmm. <laughs> well, that was easy to convince him, isn't it? Does sound like bullshit to me. That's FMV, right? Definitely. So we've got FMV in here. I really like the, the style of it. Gives me a lot of ideas. Not on the current thing that I'm working on, obviously. But uh, future things, you never know. <laughs> Way harder, can we? Resident record control number, MSQ1872665. Registered locality. Nope. <laughs> Registered ad current address. Nope. Date of birth. No. All points bulletin K1597-78-36. March 1979. Central Police Designation Case QF861. AKA the Silver Case. Arrested during commission of crime. August 1984. Received diagnosis of extremely high level mental disorders. Criminal trial cancelled. September 1984. Decision made to apply special measures. Committed to a psych ward at IMM Hospital in the 24 wards. Began counselling and general treatment. Length of period undisclosed. The criminal of, uh, criminal of legend awakens. March 27th, 1999. Continuing his treatment at IMM Hospital, Kamui murders a hospital worker and escapes. The victim was Kamui's personal counsellor, Yoriko Sonoda, 26. The weapon was similar to a customised harpoon gun. Well, that's fucking brutal. Estimated time of death between 10 and 11 p.m. At that time, a tracking surveillance satellite in geostationary orbit began tracking the point representing Kamui. At 11.15 p.m. of the same day, deployment of Public Security Department Special Forces Unit Republic was decided. At 11.45 p.m., Republic arrives at the woods in e -Ward, to which Kamui has escaped. Operation Secure Kamui begins. Sounds like it's going to be easier said than done, my man. By 11.55 p.m., Republic fails to secure Kamui. Two killed in duty, two injured. Yeah. Just past midnight at 12.38 a.m. on March 28th, the satellite track on Kamui disappears. Kamui is assumed to have gone underground in an untrackable area. 24 Wards Heinous Crime Unit 2 Special Agents. Tetsu Gordo Kasabi and Sumio Kodai head to the scene of the crime, IMM Hospital. Decoy Man. Who is the decoy man, though? 
I don't want to be the decoy man. That's the man we're chasing a decoy, is that it? That's not the real cowboy. You're tricking us. March 28th, 1999, Sunday, IMM Hospital. 7.04 a.m. That's too fucking early to be in a hospital. <laughs> Leg work. You fucking called it. Excuse me? No, it's nothing. Just talking to myself. Until yesterday, Kamwe Weihara was going through the usual curriculum at this isolation ward. He seemed totally fine. So that totally fine patient murdered. Murdered his counsellor and escaped. What a lovely fucking story. Any problems with the system of management? There are always two security guards present. I don't think there are any problems. So you got two amateur ass renter cops and a crazed serial killer? That's basically like begging him to murder someone. Kamwe Weihara didn't have the capacity to take care of himself normally. He has extremely debilitating mental disorders. He does not currently possess the capacity to kill or hurt anyone. So he's all broken down. That's a prejudiced viewpoint. There are cases which are not directly linked to mental breakdown. Well, whatever. So the main point is Kamui's not here then. Thank you, Doctor. We appreciate your cooperation. I get it now, some detectives really can be somewhat difficult individuals. Just like on TVs. This is fun. Same here. I get to write quack doctors everywhere too, huh? I'd sure like to be your personal physician. <laughs> anyway, that dick just won't shut the fuck up. It's sort of your fault. You were pretty rude to him. If he was our doctor, he'd give us a lot of unnecessary anal work, I'm sure. So, who the fuck is this guy? He's been sitting here the whole time. Fucking creepy. He's the sole survivor from Special Forces. Real name unknown. No registration found. We found signs of it having been deleted. His codename is Bruce. Sounds pretty sketchy to me. What a fucked up story. You come into contact with him before. A hey, cauliflower. Oh, you mean that chinchilla? So you're saying only he, only he came back alive? Commander Natsume is currently in the ICU. I know. Natsume isn't gonna die. We'll go over the plan one final time. Target all points bulletin K1597 Our goal is to bring Kamui Weihara in alive. The target is thought to be armed. We don't know what sort of weapon. Harpoon gun. Armament level Z. Bring him in. If we're capturing him with Z level armaments, then wait. Save your questions for later. I'll continue. But these are our orders from up top. Just follow them. Don't think. Keep your shit together. Got it. Okay. Well, that's the satellite that's tracking him then. So we're playing as Bruce and the other two are going to die then, I guess. According to satellite tracking data, the target doesn't seem to have left here. Lure the target to point GFO3 and secure him. Clean everything up within the 100 second countdown after we begin. That is all. About the armaments. What is it, Sakamoto? What if it's difficult to bring him in alive? Our main goal is to bring him in alive. We... We're gonna find ourselves in an extreme disadvantage. This plane needs a guaranteed unit survival rate of 60% in order to be approved. Fill in the remaining 40% yourselves. Got it. Depending on the situation, I may join you. Good luck. And Amata, chill out. He's only one guy. This would be no problem. Right? Look at Bruce. This guy has wiped out his emotions. Don't equate me with him. Frigid bastard. Then fucking control yourself. Otherwise you're just gonna die. Die, huh? I'm gonna die? Just me? In a martyr. Even a cauliflower, only I got shot. By some regular citizen. That little punk bastard. It's because you underestimated the power of crime. Even a normal citizen, if their desire to hunt a person is high enough, has the power to commit a crime. They can be even tougher than us. You get that, right? In a matter, you are best in terms of that power. It's impossible. I can't. 
You need to have more criminal power than the target. Dispose was the same as crime. Just hunt the target. Keep that in mind. I can't lose. If I think of it as hunting, I can't be beat. It's the same as training. As far as the ability to secure the target goes in a matter, you're better than anyone. I know. Okay. You ready to, Bruce? Ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Lock and load. Man, we really look special forces, huh? Chief, we're ready to go. Okay. Turn your radios to channel 2. We'll move on, my zero count. Execute the mission. We'll enter formation once we find the target. Sakamoto, you move ahead until we find the target. Alright, we're um, in control now, I think. March 27, 1999, Saturday, Republic. 11.45 p.m. Let's do it. Follow the trail. Well, I can see it ahead of me. It's a little glowing green thing. That'll make it easy to find. Movement. I think I'm getting used to the controls now. Which is nice. Target found. We're moving. Okay. Spread out and lure the target's GFO3. Got it. Inamata, get to my left. Bruce, follow the radar directions. Don't be late. Got it. Alright, movement again. All right, I don't want to overshoot, but I'm following the directions here. Sakamoto, you're too close to the target. Get some distance. Got it. Sakamoto, do you read them? Get some distance. Is this thing broken? The display distance and visual distance don't match. Inamata, Bruce, do you read me? Confirm target distance with your scopes. Hurry up! Target lost. Currently at... Huh? Sakamoto? Sakamoto! What's going on? Sakamoto, respond! <laughs> Sakamoto! <laughs> Chief! Sakamoto's callback. Continue the mission. Everyone keep your distance and follow the target. Keep the distance till I join you. Chief! You bastard! Keep following the mission. Don't fuck around, you idiot. Fuck off! I'll hunt him! Bruce, continue following the radar. Sure, dude. Got it. And... Bruce, what's the situation? Fuck, 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 fuck. Not good then. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. <laughs> Fucking calm, we. I'm heading towards Bruce's point. Inamata, be careful and move ahead. Inamata, do you read me? Answer me, Inamata. Do you want to die? We're going up against Kamui. Keep calm. Inamata, you too? I'll kill him. Bruce, move forward. Don't let Inamata die. Can't promise anything, but dude. In fact, we already heard the report. He's gonna die. Bruce, you read me. Be sure to collect my body. Even if we end up killing each other. In about it, get back to the mission. Don't let Sakamoto die in vain. Disobeying orders will get your ass done. Remain calm. Chief, thanks for everything. Inamata. Well, he's dead too. Oh fuck, I pressed the wrong way. Keep formation. Move where you're told. Sorry. I wasn't paying attention to the radar. That's my bad. Bruce. Move to point GFO4. Pull back. The mission has failed. I repeat, the mission has failed. Turn around. You got it. Let's get the fuck out of here before we die too, you know. <laughs> we just got lucky that he picked us last to die. Bruce. Glad you're okay. We lost two. The mission failed. There are no excuses. Retreat. We can't allow any further sacrifices. I let my subordinates die like that. Bruce. Laugh at me, will you? No! The only thing this old man can do is get his revenge. Kami will be showing up soon. Right here. Bruce. Do you know the phrase, flower, sun, and rain? I know of the game. The answer is inside Kamui. Like literally inside him? Don't let him get to you. Kamui isn't here. Kamui is right next door. Kamui is just peeking in. You get me? Bruce? It's time we say goodbye. Take care.
But he's not dead. He's just uh, in the ICU or whatever. So, dying. <laughs> he's not dead, he's just dying. Alright, we're back at the hospital. On Sunday, 9.21 a.m. Records investigation. So this is post to the last hospital scene. Alright then. So you remember, right? So it's going to be jumping back and forth, back and forth in time by the look of it. So that's going to make it difficult to keep up with, but... Fuck, Suda 5-1 games are already difficult to keep up with, so... Whatever. The Special Forces unit was destroyed. What happened? Tetsu, come on. What? He isn't right. Huh? Hey, you listening? He's in a state of psychosis. I don't think he can speak. Looks like it. What do we do? I guess we got no choice. Should we head out? The fuck are you talking about? Turn on the recorder. You're right. Hmm? It won't work. The battery's dead. Well, that's fucking useless. <laughs> Whatever. Write this all down. Okay. Look at this guy. Well, wow. you even forget this guy's face? He looks like a mannequin. Sumio. Quit fucking around with the recorder like a little kid. Fuck off, old man. I know. The fuck you say to me, asshole? I'll blow your fucking head off. Fine, whatever. Just ask the questions. I know. Eight hours ago, the guy you guys were chasing. Calmly escaped to the woods near the isolation wood. Then there was a chase. Special forces was destroyed. Sakamoto and Inamata were killed in the line of duty. Natsume is still out cold in the ICU. Tetsu. Hmm? So one more push, huh? Don't. Why not? He's extremely delicate. Any more and... Delicate. Sumio, homicide. Where's Kusabi? He's here. It's an emergency. Get to the scene right away. Where to? Sending it over now. See you at the scene. Wait. She fucking hung up. What should we do? We go, obviously. No, I mean... What? Bruce. Huh. What do we do about this? He's the sole witness. So we bring him. But without Dr. Tachibana's permission. Fuck that guy. This isn't something personal. Fuck off. Seriously? Come on, we're going. Huh? What's up with this chinchilla anyway? Chinchilla? It's kind of a shitty nickname after all. This guy's got a face like a fucking private stick. In that case, maybe like private dick chinchilla. No, that's not it. He's sort of a big guy. Private, big private dick chinchilla. No, that sucks. I got it. The short it's big dick. Big dick? Big dick. That's a cool sounding dick then. <laughs> uh, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> That's it then, big dick. If you got a big dick, I suppose it is. What do you think, Sumio? That's awesome. Stop kissing his ass. Let's go, big dick. Tiny schlong. <laughs> Elephantine dong. Come on, there's plenty of options. March 28th, 1999, Sunday, Civil Lines. 7.39 p.m. So this is that same night that we were just at the hospital. So where to? Just past the sewer. Are the Unit 1 guys here? Yeah. Hachisuka and Morikawa should be. Make sure I quick to jump on an easy score. Let's hurry. Hurry up, big dick. I can't, my dick's weighing me down. Sewer lines. Crime scene investigation. It's not my fault my big dick is slowing me down. It's dragging on the ground behind me. How do I gotta call the fence? Uh, can't move. Oh, we can talk. You're late, Tetsu. 
We're not sitting around on our asses like Unit 1. Who's this guy? The witness. We brought him from the hospital. I heard Natsume's guys all went down. Yeah, this guy's the only one left. Some sort of superhuman? He's Big Dick. Nice to meet you, Big Dick. This is Natsume's special little guy. <laughs> Be nice to him. <laughs> special little guy. <laughs> That's why I'm Big Dick, because special little guys when Natsume calls his dick. You know, you know. You get it. <laughs> of course. So, who's that guy? You didn't hear? It's Kamui. Kamui? You mean Silver Kamui? So you remember, huh? I mean, how could I forget? What about this one? It's really messed up. It's like... Oh. How she got strung up there? I, I can't even... It's been a while since we've had a nasty one like this. So it was him. Him? Can't we did this? Yeah. No fucking question, this was Kamui. But how? With that weird harpoon gun. He got four people with him. And he gouged out the different parts. Get it down now. Fucking Christ. I don't think I can. Oh. Oh look, there's different people over here to talk to. What's up with the body? Take a look. We're just getting started. Seems like not much time has passed. Can you just keep quiet for me? Who's this? A special survivor. We brought him just in case. His name's Bruce. Okay. Hi Bruce. My name's Hachisuka. He's in a state of shock. He can't speak. Oh then, good thing you brought him along then, huh? He was tits. Kusabi. Okay, what else we got? Nobody that way. We got... He randoms this way? By the look of it, they're the same person twice. Cop A and Cop B. Who's Kamui? I don't really know either, but apparently he's some top secret serial killer. But I've never actually heard of him. It was all just rumours before. Nobody thought he was actually a real person. Why is this all not publicised? This world is full of the unknown. I thought it was just all made up stories. There's lots of stuff that little guys like you and I simply never know. Crime is just like the darkness. It isn't meant to be simple. That makes sense. Steel, get this out of the way. Approximately 12 hours since the time of death. It looks like the decay is progressing, but a lot of water has entered the skin and is simply swelling. 12 hours. It was calm week. The time frame fits. Five hours between the woods and this? That would be enough time. Got an ID? Not yet. Let's hurry and find where it happened. So you didn't actually kill her here? No. You did it somewhere else and then left her here. So it would stand out more. I'll handle the ID. Do it. Sumio, take a look around. Roger that. Hachisuka. Where's Hachisuka? She left. She left? To attend the autopsy. Was that even fucking saying anything? That sort of research is important, so... Whatever, fuck it. How about it, Big Dick? You remember anything? I don't think so, man. <laughs> I think you're barking up the wrong tree here, my dude. What's wrong? You lost? Uh, I don't know. Am I? Oh, I can move now. We can move up. Oh, it's you again. I think I remember you. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Sometimes there's different words in there. Oh, that one didn't though. Just help me the whole time. Okay. In the bright and dark plaza, everyone played together in harmony and killed each other. With wonderful smiles, the gentlemen laugh happily and say, Do you want to be happy, baby? Do you want to be happy, baby? Do you want to be happy, baby? The gaudy man said it three times in a row. Everyone looks so happy and answers, I'm going to be happy, mama. Everyone wants to be happy. I can't wait for the fun weekend. What's up, big dick? What the hell is that? It's a doll, right? What is this old thing doing here? No idea.
Well, that was a bit silly. That just made it silly, didn't it? Did a silly laugh. Right. Move your ass transition. Back to the precinct. March 29th, 1999, Monday. Office 24, so this is the next day. 11 a.m. Now that is gentlemanly hours. <laughs> Heinous Crimes Unit 1. I'm really enjoying the uh, the soundtrack in this game so far. It's pretty, it's pretty great. Naka, get everyone together. I want to gather info on the events leading up to here and how we'll move forward. 24 Wards Heinous Crime Prevention Chief Director Kodobuki Shinji. Okay. He's 51 and male. HD unit boss. Deeply insightful and very conscientious and sympathetic. Consequently, his popularity is amazing. Kind of big he doesn't directly go out into the field, but he provides crucial support from the sidelines. I feel like he wrote this himself, eh? <laughs> Cases are never solved by chasing them. From Kodobuki's point of view. You have to wait patiently. He is a man who knows how to manage people. Yeah, he definitely wrote that himself. <laughs> Got it. 24 Wards, Heinous Crime Unit 1, Special Agent Nakatagawa Morichika. 35 male, cool. Sig Pro. Heinous whip heinous heinous crimes unit one. An eccentric man who usually works investigations alone, originally from the public security department. He has connections all over the place. He is also close with neighbouring jurisdictions and supports investigations with his own info. His trademarks are his slick back hair and pressed shirts. He's a okay. So he <laughs> looks like a mafia man. Hurry to fuck up and get it done. 24 Wards Heinous Crime Unit 2, Special Agent Kusabi Tetsugoro. 44 and male. I thought he would have been older than that, honestly. Out of loyalty to veteran Detective Kotobuki, he joined the Heinous Crimes Unit upon his, his establishment. He sometimes acts as Sumio's stopper and sometimes troubles the younger agents with his explosive behaviour. I've already noticed that. More afraid of being hated by his daughter than anything else in the world, Kusabi is seriously considering quitting smoking. Apparently, his biggest source of worry is his eldest daughter Toriko's overseas studies. Let's get started. Heinous Crimes Unit 2, Special Agent Kodai Sumio. 26, male, nice. The backbone of the 24 Wards HC unit. He works to get his he works investigations together with Kasabi. Not one to conform nor to conflict with the police force, he knows his place and puts all of his focus on crime. Where's Morikawa? And this comes unit one, Special Agent Hachisuka Chizuru. 25 and female. And this comes unit one. Assigned to the HC unit is Morikawa's partner, a beautiful female detective. Originally worked in the crime lab. Her father is 24 Ward's mayor, Kaoru Hachisuka. Extremely serious and hardworking when it comes to her duties, she is quite proud and intends to stick out within the department. Not very well liked by Kasabi. Sorry, I'm late. Heinous Crimes Unit 1, Special Agent Morikawa Kiyoshi. 38 and main. Joined the HC together with Kusabi from the time it was established. One of the oldest members, having learned the basics of investigation from Kotobuki. Known for his excellent investigation work, he is a support specialist. Cleverly using the truth to his advantage, his investigative style is veteran level. Strongly trusted by Kotobuki, is usually tasked with writing up silver case reports. Hello, this is Nakatagawa. Kamui Weihara has escaped from the hospital's isolation ward and has killed four people. He is currently still at large. Kamui is assumed to have made his way into the city, where he is currently hiding. Now, three things. First off, there's something I'd like everybody to be con consistent with. The official name of this case is the Kamui case. It's a good, simple name. Second, I'd like you all to watch this video. Hachisuka, start the tape. This video comes from a guard robot. Well, how thorough. Fast forward. I can't. It'll damage the tape here. Whatever, let it play. This is the scene of the crime. There in the back is where the counselling room is located. Yeah, so what? What about it? This is where the female victim worked. 
at the time of the murder, she was wearing her own clothes. So she was going home? Yes. So what does this mean? Any hospital this large is changing rooms. The job required a uniform, and due to rules concerning health and safety, wearing one's own private clothes while entering and leaving is prohibited. So there was, was someone that she wanted to see so badly she was willing to break the rules. She is believed to have been meeting with Kamui in secret. The fuck is wrong with this broad? Lovesick, I'd assume. She works in a hospital after all. And what else? So Kamui killed her. We've gotten some commies. Apparently the victim, Yuriko Sonoda and Kamui were involved physically. So they were fucking. And it seems it was strictly one-sided. One-sided from Sonoda. Kamui is mentally impotent, so. So it's pretty much like it. Okay, I'm not saying that. <laughs> you know, I guess this one was made in 1999, I suppose, but you know. Wow, what a lucky dude. To a woman, you may have been the ideal man. Like a doll with no emotions. Who will never betray you. The perfect man, whom you can just sit down by your side forever. You think so? Wouldn't that be boring? Also, assuming a woman like that is pretty sexist. But it'd be comfortable and easy, right? Well, it would be easy, but still. Let's get back on track. So notice seduced Kamui and lured him here. God damn. So she seduced Kamui and was killed. And then she was left here. Hold on. The lead is different, isn't it? Yes. In Yuriko Sonoda's case, the scene of the murder and the place her body was dumped were the same. In Yuka Kawai's case, it's two separate places. After killing her in her home, he moved the body. That's pretty complicated for Kamui. Copycat? You got something, Tetsu? No, never mind. Here's the victim's profile. The victim is Yuriko Sonoda. 26 years old, female. Worked as a counsellor. After graduating from medical school, she started work at this hospital. Her most recent patient was Kamui. She'd been counselling Kamui since about six months ago. Recently, they'd been in some form of contact almost every day. The cause of death is a specialised harpoon gun. Fucked up. The body shows signs of perforation in four places. Inside a uterus were found traces of bodily fluid thought to be Kamui's. Delicious. Lovely. We're currently waiting for a positive ID. The estimated time of death is between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. on March 27. This matches the time the tracking satellite began tracking Kamui's Kamui almost perfectly. Next up is the profile of the victim found in the sewer. Yuka Kawai, 25 years old. Worked at the digital media sales firm. She was in charge of the Kamui project. She took two shots to the head and one in each of the chest and the stomach, leaving the same penetration marks as Sonoda. The estimated time of death is between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. on March 28. We're waiting on the test results for further details. He shot two harpoons into her head. <laughs> I mean, that'll do the job, wouldn't it? I'll leave the details to Naka. Next. All right, and finally, I'll give a simple explanation of Kamui Weihata's history. Please take in as much of this info as you can. He's not your run-of-the-mill criminal. No shit. The man has been completely overtaken by an evil darkness. Go ahead and toss common sense right out the window for this. This is a photo of Kamui. It's from four years ago. He literally looks like a mannequin. Let me see. Okay, if I may continue. With regards to how we proceed, that'll do. Unit 2 is the brawn, and Unit 1, you Unit 1 guys are the brains of the operation, right? That makes sense. That's basically right. Investigation Unit 1 is analyzing the database to try and predict how the suspect will move, and where he'll appear. Investigation Unit 2 will collect the data not yet in the database and investigate the areas the tracking satellite can't reach. Everyone else await orders. That's all for now. Let's get to it. The heck? 